All righty, we're back. Me and Jolene worked hard yesterday. Whew. Thanks, Jolene. Appreciate that. She worked hard yesterday. Um, anybody asked her to put the camera down to help me? Jolene is 100 pounds. <laughs> I needed a truck to move it, not poor little Jolene. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. But anyways, here we go. We see the chassis. One thing I do notice right off the get-go, that engine looks huge in that little chassis. It looks huge. Um, this is the first time seeing it. No? This is the first, yes, this is the first time seeing it with the engine in it where the radiator has to go, where the front end has to go, with the motor mounts, um, where the rear end sits. This is the first time seeing it because I built the car first and then I, I'm building the chassis to fit the car. Um, you can see I have no suspension in the back yet. I had to play with it a little bit last night. This is where the airbags are going. I'm going to put an airbag here, an airbag. I might even put two airbags. Also, another thing too, think about the weight value that I've lost with that airbag. Some light, you know. Um, so we're going to airbag this. I think it's going to be the first bagged Bugatti. No, no, I shouldn't say that. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm not saying that. Because um, the, the new ones might be bagged. Who knows? Anyways, as I carry on up through this thing, you can see all the mounts. That's going to make this car very rigid, which this car was a race car in its day, I would say. I would say just the way it's built, obviously. It's so small, so slender, whatever. It was supposedly one of the fastest cars in the world at that time. Um, but it's really nice to see it. Um, the body's off. We got it on our little table. Um, I'm not scared of that little table. Uh, you'd have to shove them legs down through the floor before that would fall. Um, where I've got it braced so it can't go either way, that's where I'm hoping that everything's okay. And uh, if it stays upright, um, it'll be fine. Uh, let's face it, it's not something you want to jump on and do all kinds of things on, but I can, now I can work on it and get the places I need to get. There's been a lot of controversy about the front end. First thing I had to do, I had to take the piece of wood out and undo the control arm, see if it works or not. That's heavy. I think that work wheel works fine. Good for my muscles. And those who said it didn't, it does. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Um, you're my motivators, though. You're my motivators, though, who say I can't. You're my motivators, so I have to thank you. Um, as I do things, I don't know if it's going to work or not. I have to use my brain and try to think if it does or if it doesn't, and that works fine. We have it on the same axis. It's just the mount is taking the place of the length of the back arm. I'm very happy with it. I'd also be happy with what I manufactured here first, but I think this is more, what can I say, more of a factory looking thing, um, I guess. Airbag will go in here. What's going to have to happen is the wheel is going to have to be placed where it needs to be and set at ride height bag put in or whatever, and then I can play with this top mount and get it right in place so the wheel goes up and down level every time, and I'll have to make a mount there. And what I'll do is I'll put everything in place, just picture it, same as I did the engine. Put the engine in place, and then put the mounts to it. So what I'll do is I'll put the wheel in place, the lower control arm is my pivot point, and then I can make this stay in place, and then I'll build to it, basically. Uh, today's, what I'm doing today, it's Saturday, is I'm going to throw a little paint on some pieces of the air station. We're going red this time, and uh, that's basically what I'm going for. So it's, it's big for us to have the car off and have the chassis be seen. It's big, and, um, and the reason why, because it's the first time. You know, I've never seen, I've seen the chassis before I put it underneath, but I've never seen it with the engine in it, the, the, you know, where the radiator has to go and all that sort of stuff. But it does let you know, wow, that engine and that little frame, <laughs> a good one. Do you think? I think so. But yeah, it's a good day. Good day. Painting little stuff. A little rain going out, so it should be nice to paint. I like when it's raining. I like painting when it's raining. I think it uh, helps keep everything down. Um, let's go ahead and put a coat of red paint on a couple pieces in there, just small pieces. And I'm using this little gun because I do not need a lot of paint. Um, yeah, just don't need a lot, just need a little. And uh, here we go. Test results are in. We know now it works. Test results are in. I could do a Murphy Pulvid show here every week, couldn't I not? People that naysay. <laughs> Basically, what I've done here is 
it's up. We taped it off. We taped it off. And now we're just coming in and going to spray this stuff. We got a we got a wheel. We got to spray the top piece. I don't know, it's a pivot piece. We got a, a globe, the hat. Oh, I'm a good thing that we said that the hat's gonna be turned over first. I'm gonna get the hat's gonna be turned over first. I'm gonna paint the underneath of the hat first. We're, what we're gonna do is hope that it sets on that. I got red paint on me. Jeez. Now I, huh? I'm gonna wipe that off. Just gonna wipe it off. Got red paint on my hand, got it on the globe already. I'm not even spraying it. Baby, man, you're good. <laughs> Paper, she says. I got it right in my hand. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're good, man. I gotta get some white. I gotta wipe that off. I'll right, right back. Good thing I got Jolene around. I'm telling you, she's not only good looks, she's a lot smarter and a lot faster than I am. <laughs> Aren't you, baby? Huh? I'll just rack it up to age. Rack it up to age. Remember, you know, if you're if you're having a having an issue, don't don't think about the issue. Think about how to solve the problem. You know what I mean? It, it can help a lot. If you take the time, instead of getting ugly about something, um, think about how you're going to fix it. Get the guns in there. I get you walking back and forth a lot, haven't I? You want to pick that front end up a couple more times? See if it works. I might web that. Front end, that is.
I'm going to put a little more paint in here because I don't want to run after I'm doing starting or something. Right goes inside here. We have that all done. That looks really sharp. Uh, we got the headlights. Probably shouldn't be touching any of them, should I? Huh? Probably shouldn't be touching There's the headlights. I'm guessing. Maybe. We should send the seats out soon. Get done maybe. See what goes on there. have no idea. Uh, the paint a little bit got me a little bit sweaty. I'm <laughs> 
but when are you going to finish it? When are you going to finish it? You know what I'm saying? So the solution is to show you how we do it. That's, that's our solution. You know what I mean? So we get done, we get done. Go to bed. Huh? Subway has a good deal on for breakfast. You can get a six inch egg and cheese with a coffee for four bucks. Me and Julie go get two coffees, it costs us four dollars. Um, you can get us something to eat plus a coffee. Thanks for breakfast, baby. That's a plug for you, Subway. If you need any more, give me a holler. Also, I, I want to give G Technique a holler. We did, we did a little commercial for them, or you know what I mean? And we use this stuff, and it is good stuff. It is good stuff. I mean, it's not, I'm not like, I'm not joking. Um, that's good stuff. And a baby. Good stuff. G technique. If you need something to wash your car, and, and there's a panel wipe, you clean it off the panel wipe, you wash it, and you liquid crystal it. So I suppose you wash your vehicle first, and then you would panel wipe it to make sure it's to clean of debris, and then you put the liquid crystal on it. Wow. Fantastic. Fantastic. We did the bike down there, and uh, I seen it the other day, and it's still glossy. In a bit. It is going on like a madman. Subway, I give you a plug. I give G, G Technique don't need a plug. No, they have a good product. It stands for itself, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, anyways. built out of square tubing, sheet metal, and I made it as strong as possible, um, and as light as possible, I guess. I didn't overkill, and I tried to use the right metal in the right areas, if you know what I'm trying to say. Um, every certain metal belongs in a certain place, if you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, thicker metal, when you're getting into front end stuff, you want thicker metal. When you get into the body work, you want thinner metal. say a roof skin or something like that, you, you would not want to do a 22 gauge, you'd want something a little thicker like the 18 or 16, I would think anyway, so you can shape, you know, keep shape on its own. Keep shape on its own. 
It's a pretty good looking shop, though. Yesterday I was out in the sun, me and Jolene, she rang me up a beer after I was all done. She rang me up a beer. She said, good job. Which made me feel good. But anyways, I got to go out in the sun and turn around, and there was, poof, these two cars in here. And it was just like, wow. You think I lived in France or something. Maybe someday, eh, baby? Mm -hmm. Maybe someday. Huh? I want to get to Europe to check out their car museums. I want to get there so bad to check out their check out their stuff. We've been all over, you know, not all over, but over America and California. We went to quite a few down there. But let's face it, the different cars are across the water. And I, I want to check them out because I've never seen stuff like that before. And I feel like if you've never seen it before, how would you know? How would you know? You wouldn't. I'm going to go in and touch the paint, see if things are halfway tacky or whatever. through the tunnel of the Bugatti, you can see where the weld marks are. Now I have to cut that metal all back to that tubing and weld all that metal and clean that off. That's basically what's going on there. The tunnel's inside there. And it, the, where it's welded, it shows me where I gotta trim it back to. And then I gotta weld that all the way around there and clean that off and make that look good. I got two inner fenders I gotta try to fit in. I got, there's so much to do. I think maybe what will happen is once we get the, the air station painted, I think I'd like to play on the chassis a little bit. I think getting the air ride going, getting it going up and down, fixing a few things. I think that would be fun. I haven't done that for a while. You, it makes you use your brain because it lets, lets, lets you remember this is the first time I've ever built, built a Bugatti. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Um, well, so what we'll do is we'll maybe move that down here, this car up there, one or the other. We'll leave this, we'll put this car in the paint room, and that way there we can always bring it in the car and work on it. So we'll have. This one here, we'll set it in there whenever we feel like doing something to it. I might go hard on it again sometime. But I really feel like the chassis is interesting me quite a bit. Um, with, the, with the way it's sitting, there's a bunch of work that's got to be done. And I think I want, I'd like to dive right into it, I think. I think I'd like to dive right into it. And if I don't, bear with us. We'll still be working. We work every day. Tell you the truth, every day we do not lie to you. You know what I mean? That's, that's something there alone, is it not? Something said. We, we, we have content every day about basically the truth. Some refreshing, I would say, wouldn't it? I'd be refreshing, refreshing. I gotta get over and see Jim Patterson again. You know, we're on this lockdown thing, and uh, gotta get over and see him and get some truth rolling. He's got his Ferrari out, he sent us a little video where he took his Ferrari for a drive. And then on the next day, he showed us with him talking to his cat and the cat on the hood of it. <laughs> Joey said, bad cat. He goes, no, 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 that's a good cat. <laughs> yep, cat's on top of her. <laughs> Way to go, Jim. Huh? If it does not control you, it does not matter.
seat in this bad boy, so you basically sit right here on the rear end. Basically, you know, me with that in front of you. Does that make you nervous to drive it at all? <laughs> I'm a Dominican. Wow. It, it's very, I'll tell you what, it's very impressive to look, see that engine inside that little chassis. To me, it's impressive. What's more impressive?
more pain. Basically, we're trying to, all we're going to do is try to do a little bit better. Uh, we learned from uh, this old hot rod. We learned from them. They did a good job at it. And with that, what we're going to do, we're going to sit down and thank people that has sent us stuff. That's, a big, that's the least we can do. Um, we're also going to take the 62. We're all done. We're ready to rock and roll. We got our license. We got our insurance. We're, we're ready. Um, we're going to take you for a drive around and show you where we live. And we'll show you. Basically, we'll just talk, we'll take a little drive, we'll take a little plan somewhat. We live here on the, on the, on the level, up over the hill, we got a hill here called Look Off. You can go up there and you can look off and see here, it's, you know, you can see the end of the world. You can be in Columbus for a day if you want to be, you know, be looking off up there. We can take you down into Scotts Bay, drive you back up, maybe take you to our town, maybe to the Kingsport. We'll show, we can also show you the highest tides in the world. That's where we live, where the highest tides in the world. Raised to 50 feet, I think it is. So, if you can imagine, um, we have a beach here that one minute it's got no water, and the next next minute it's got enough water to cover <laughs> miles and miles and miles of you know of the ocean floor. So I know what a good flood looks like because I've been there. I've lived most of my life on the Kingsport, and uh, that's where the water comes in and out every day. Two two times I think it is. I did learn to swim and all that sort of stuff. Learned some good stuff, learned some bad stuff. And uh, yeah. And we'll take you for a ride in the old 62 and we'll show you all that coming soon. Stick with us, stay with us. Good live content. So if anybody can think of when, when you're having an issue, when you're having a, an issue, instead of getting worked up, I'm only saying it for. I have to practice it. Instead of thinking about the bad stuff, think about the solution. Think about the solution. Then, then when you think about the solution, you, be, you can become, what's that called when you're, you can become what? Fair. You can become fair. Because you will think of all the things that should be done. Is that enough of me? Yeah, if you want to. So I can keep on talking. I can keep on talking. This car here, I'm happy with it. That's where I want to get it. That's where I saw my brain. I know I, I can build it. I know I can finish it. Um, just a matter of time and doing it. And that's that's another thing too. Um, Jolene's gonna fix her house up down here. I guess she's gonna try to a little bit. She's thinking about it. She might even keep, keep you posted on that. Who knows? Who knows? 
Right, Danny? Right? They spent the rain falling in there today, so it's basically not a nice day for the side. But that's what us uh, Nova Scotians do. Uh, we deal with the best of what we have, and that's what we do. That's all you can do in a baby. Huh? We put it in perspective. Think of the solution, not the problem. Think of the solution. Woo -hoo! 